Die too young. Hundred miles per hour, my smash is a good die young. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We got another trailer task to get completed today. Today I'm gonna be installing all my new trailer wire for the lights on the back, and then also getting the trailer brakes wired, rewired. The only thing I'm missing is a new battery and then an inline battery charger for the breakaway switch. But other than that, we can get everything else done. I'm gonna be using a seven-way junction box, got a new breakaway switch, and all seven wires so the first thing i'm gonna be doing is i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this old trailer brake uh, rewire it to the box and then when i pull all these wires through because they're running through this big channel frame right to back here i'm gonna tie the uh, new trailer brake wire going to the lights to this controller i'm gonna like uh, electrical tape it to this one and pull it through that way I can get it fed through here and then my junction box I'm gonna be installing right here on this wall and then I'm probably gonna either drill a little probably gonna drill a hole for all the wires to feed through and then come straight into the box so my junction box will be sitting right there uh, I decided to keep this trailer uh, battery box because I couldn't find one the same size anywhere so and it, it's made for this spot it's perfect so I'm gonna go ahead and keep that, replacing the battery. I'm gonna throw a little charger in there. And then once the battery and charger get here, I can wire all that stuff up. Get this electrical tape out the way real quick. And this electrical tape is old. Fuck that screw. I'm gonna put a new terminal on the ground anyways. And let's try and get this out of there because I want to use that hole. Yep, that's out. It's gonna fall out. Now that I have the old controller out the way, I'm gonna go ahead and clean the surface because I'm gonna use that as the ground for the brake. I mean for the brake battery. That's nice and clean. Need a new connector for this. Contact cleaner on this wire right here because it's kind of corroded. But it's like sealed well on the box. I don't feel like adding new wire right here. But if I ever have to, it won't be hard. Like a day it. I'm 
nice and crimped. Take our heat shrink. I need my heat gun. Now it can install the new controller. So you want to make sure your controller is aiming right at your tongue so it pulls it out straight. That's a double check, check. down a little bit but that doesn't really matter as long as it's got a good ground anyways it needs to be pointed up anyways for my truck because it's so tall so that's on there got a new ground on the battery so for the battery box all I'll have to do is connect this one blue to going into the battery box and the other blue running through the channel going to the junction box Let's not cut that yet. Let's get this stripped. Make sure it's clean wire in here. That wire. Now the battery box. Uh, you know what I didn't think about? Where's the charger go? It goes to the 12 volt. Anyway, we'll figure that out inside the box. I'll I'll splice it inside the box. That way we only have two connect connections on the outside of the box. Now this can go to the back to the junction box. And I'm gonna get rid of this ground here because all my grounds are gonna be right back there on the front wall. Now that I got the junction box installed, I got the wire running down the side of the frame. I put an R clamp to hold it. It's a pretty thick wire, so it's just staying pretty straight on its own. And that's all it needs. I might put one more right here, but either way, it's gonna have a little slack somewhere. Now for the trailer wires coming into the junction box, I'm gonna drill a hole right here so it can come out the trailer straight into the junction box. And all the excess wires will be back here on the back side of the wall. I always forget I have a step bit. That'd probably be the best solution for what I'm trying to do. Alright, so then I'll be able to come straight through here with all the wires, straight into the junction box. Alright, so a little update. This main harness right here, I got my power and my ground. This is going to my trailer brakes. So once the recharger, the battery charger gets here, I'm going to wire, finish wiring the trailer brakes up. This is all the way back and connected just on the, well not just on the, but it's all meeting up on the driver's side of it. So once I get, <clears throat> once I get the recharger, I'm gonna hook it all up. Uh, at one point back there, splice. So I'm gonna cut it there, see if I'm getting signal there. If I'm getting a good signal, I'm gonna go ahead and re-butt connect everything. I'm gonna take the two wheels off, 
and I'm gonna just re-clean all the connections and then just run that to my junction box and then the breakaway switch will be connecting to it at the junction box and then the recharge and the 12 volt power so that'll be going to the junction box too so I'm gonna be able to cut this so I'm gonna trim it up some but when I'm gonna wait to do it to where I can run, I can tie the power wire for the charger and the breakaway and the wire for the breakaway to this pull it through and it'll be through this channel and then I can come back through my little hole I made and go to the junction box and then as far as the back by the way I'm not running any side markers uh, I didn't feel like getting up top and doing all that so and the side markers they'd be pretty hard to install especially the uh, higher one, the ones up top on the roof the roof markers and I think I can get away with it it'd be all right but for back here I got everything meeting up in this corner so I have my let's see I have my grounds going to both sides I have my running lights going to both sides the brown I got black going to both sides that's the reverse and then I have my right blinker and stop and my left blinker and stop so all I gotta do is run the five wires all the way back through the cha uh, trailer hook those up hook that to the junction box ground it out at the junction box to the frame to give it extra ground that way we're grounded to the truck and the uh, trailer and yeah we'll be pretty much done I can at least test the tail lights and stuff tonight and then once the battery and charger gets here Monday I can finish buttoning up the, the breakaway system and that'll be done and then I can start messing with the 50 amp uh, electronics inside all the wiring for that all right guys I finally got all these wires ran through all the channels of the trailer I zip tied them together along the trailer like a couple spots just kind of keep them together but I, I left a good bit of slack not to where they're drooping or anything but if I had to get some slack right here I got some somewhere so all I have to do now is match the color of these to this so we got white is gonna go on white the studs are painted right here and it's listed right above each terminal so white to white black to black yellow to yellow we're skipping red because that's a 12 volt nah we don't need anything to get 12 volt then we got our green brown and blue we got our green brown and then our blue is going to go to our trailer brakes we're going to run that through this one hopefully so once like i said once i get my charger and battery we can wire all that up but everything's got a, a link up right here so it'll be pretty simple just go from the brakes to here and then here to the controller so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and wire these up real quick and then we're gonna go I'm gonna move the truck and hook it up and see if they're working so I was wrong about just matching the colors on the junction box with the wires because the correct colors I did all the wiring correct as far as most American diagrams for what color does what but on this junction box they said screw that and made their own apparently uh, the only two that were right is white is ground and blue is trailer brakes but other than that the black was 12 volt yellow is reverse red is left blinker green is running and brown is a uh, right blinker and stop so just make sure you check your diagram if you're doing one of these junction boxes because it was definitely not working right at first but i just switched all these around it's looking good still i was scared that these weren't going to come out as clean as they were at first because i'd cut them the length to each one before i crimped them and everything but i just kind of pushed a little slag but really like these two flipped around these two flipped around and that was it but yeah that is set up now i got fully functioning lights let's see let's see 
fully functioning lights. I got my two tails on both sides. Those are also the brakes. My three bar across the bottom, my license plate. The reverse works, the blinkers work, the brakes work. So that's a finished product. It's ready to go as far as that. All I gotta do is wire in the brake controller when the battery and charger get here. That's it for this video. I'm probably gonna make another video adding the battery charger and the battery and stuff like that for the trailer brakes. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it maybe helped you out a little bit. If so, hit that like and subscribe button. I appreciate y'all for watching. Y'all take it easy. Peace.